Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre. Today we're making the World of Warcraft Elden Unleashed cocktail. Have you guys ever got a chance to watch it? I don't know if you watch it on the live feed from the Gamescom or it's all online on their, the Warcraft feeds, but they actually released the trailer and the class system and everything that's going on with the new Warcraft expansion, which is called the World of Warcraft Legion. If you ever watch, if you ever play Warcraft, you know who the Legion are. The Burning Legion, Legion, and who stands at the helm in the Legion? Illidan. But the funny thing about Illidan, he used to be a night elf who fought the demons until the Skull of Gondan actually corrupted him, turned him into a demon himself. And then he started leading the Burning Legion. So you have basically the Demon Hunter, which also, which is pretty damn cool, you have a whole new hero class. The last expansion that came out, it was great, just to say the least, but they had no new classes, no hero class, no nothing. You just have a level cap raise and just some new quests and everything like this. This is level raised to a 110. You also have the hero class, which is Demon Hunter, which is something I definitely want to try out because Death Knight... Death Knight was cool. I just... I never really liked it. But the one thing I'm also curious about is when the Death Knights came out, they started at level 60. Because I believe when that came out, I think 80 was the highest you can go. So they figured they wanted to start at a higher level so that way you can get that character up higher. This one, I'm not sure if it's starting at maybe 80 so that way you can get to 110 quicker. Or however they're going to do it. So it's definitely something to look forward to when the game comes out. I haven't really played Warcraft in a while because $15 a month, that gets pretty damn expensive. And plus the time, doing my show, doing work, doing this, doing that. It's hard to find time to do it, but it's definitely a fun game. When I start playing that game, it just immerses me. I can. It's hard to get my ass off the seat playing the game because it's so fun to play. So it's definitely something I'm looking forward to try out. I may get it, maybe get a couple months just to try it out and... If I don't play for a while, maybe I'll just sell my time. Since now that I have the wild tokens, we're going to get some gold. Because I can really use some gold. Because my gold is going bye-bye. I'm buying a lot of shit just trying to get the different classes up. But this is definitely going to be an interesting style of cocktail. It's going to hopefully... Because I had to redo it. Because first time it didn't work. But hopefully it's going to be a layered effect. Because you're using the Jim Beam Berman. Or the uh, Devil's Cut. Which is 90 proof. The problem I was having before, because I've been using an ounce and then a half ounce, that ounce took that 90, just knocked it down so much. It almost came pretty much about the same consistency as the other stuff. But it's going to be a layered drink. It's going to have that purple color that you get from Illidan. And then hopefully, if it works, the green top, basically getting the whole other color of them. But we're going to try this again. Hopefully this time it works. I really don't feel like wasting alcohol. So... We'll try it out. See what happens. But it's going to be the WoW World of Warcraft Illidan Unleashed Cocktail. Let's see how it's made. Ah, screw it. A lot more piece of ice. Well, half a piece, technically. First thing you're doing is taking half ounce of your blue carousel. And a half ounce of your slow gin. Ounce of vodka, I just want to get that a good stir. I'm 
that's pretty good. Maybe a little longer, just for hell of it. It's nice and cold, chilled. Bring that water temperature down. Maybe a little more water down. So this time it'll actually float. Probably should. We're good. And once again, I forgot my thing. So we gotta use this. If you have it, use a drill strainer. If not, use a big spoon. Because the last time I spilled it, crap a little on my thing. Let's see if this works. A little bit of room. So what we're going to do is top that with a little bit of Sprite. Now, hopefully, this part works. We're going to take an ounce of your Jim Beam bourbon. Jim Beam Devil Cup bourbon because he's a demon hunter, so you want to get some devil in there. And then a half ounce in the same measuring cup of your UV blue. And the good thing is, we still get that green color, which is what we're going for because this is basically kind of yellowish. And you got the blue from the UV blue, so it definitely helps that way. So I'll give it a good stir in there. Not as green as it was first time, but a little higher proof. It should hopefully float. Then we'll take that and then slowly if I can get past these damn ice cubes pour it in. Now, from my vantage point, I can't see. But hopefully, it layered. And this time, it did. So now you have that nice greenish, well, kind of brown green layer. And you have the purple underneath. You can see it definitely separates. It's definitely, it cuts in half. You can definitely see it. But there you have it the World of Warcraft. Illidan Unleash Cocktail. It's going to be potent right off the bat so you can have this this way or you can drink it with a straw. I'm having it this way because this is definitely going to give it a little bit more sweetness on top of that oakiness. And it's going to cut it down just enough for the potency. But still keep it up there so it floats on top, which it actually did this time. Let's try it out and see how it tastes. Wow. That's smoky. The initial hit, if you're drinking it that way, you're getting a nice... It's a very smoky, if that makes sense. Because you're getting a very well-balanced blend between these two. So you're getting a lot of smoky notes, a lot of sweet notes. You're getting that raspberry tartness. It has a little bit of burn, but it's not overly high in the potency as far as alcohol it's not like using everclear on top of there that would just kill it but your initial hit is getting that and then when you get both of them together you're still getting the smokiness you're getting that tart raspberry but then you're also getting a sweet slow gin berry you get a little bit of citrus notes you're getting from the blue carousel and the sprite the vodka just helps balance out that flavor a little bit more and gives it a little more potency. And not that the Devil's Cut is already potent enough. But it blends very well. It's a very good cocktail. It's actually a fairly potent cocktail. But it's not too potent. But it has just enough kick to make it basically like Illidan. He's a demon hunter who becomes a demon himself. Also one of the most dangerous demons starting to burn in Legion. So, it's meant to be potent, but it's also very flavorful. If you like bourbon, you'll love this stuff. 
I'm really looking forward to doing a review soon because I really want to because that stuff is actually very good. Now, I don't really like regular Jim Beam bourbon that much. I'm more of a wild turkey bourbon person. Jim Beam kind of has a bit of a... Uh, it has more of a bite to it. Kind of a slight sour bitter bite on top of the actual smokiness. This has more of that smokiness because it's a devil's cut. If you ever watch a commercial, basically they show how they squeeze the barrel and all the, basically the devil's cut. Because you had the angel's share. If you know anything about how spirits are made, when you're burning, when you're basically aging your spirit, you have what's called the angel's share, which is evaporation of the alcohol. So that just comes off. You're going to lose some of that alcohol basically as it ages. But then once you empty out the barrel and you put in there, it'd be whatever potency, maybe like 80 proof, your standard like whiskey. But then you have what's inside the barrel it has more of that potency that originally was in that. So you get the higher proof and a lot more of the smoky notes. So if you squeeze all the whiskey out of it, you're getting a nice, rich, devil's cut bourbon. So it's definitely something worth trying out. I'm really looking forward to doing a review for that. i say probably maybe two weeks. I can see what I'm doing next week. If not, maybe next week. We'll find out. But definitely let me know what you guys think. If you're very excited about the new game coming out, new expansion, let me know. I'm definitely excited. It may actually get me playing the game again because I've been off the game for a while. I just don't really feel like paying $15 a month. If it goes free, I'll definitely do it. Or maybe if any of you guys have some uh, tokens you want to sell me, I can definitely help too. Look up Wisnel. Go find out. That's my character. But definitely know what you guys think. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Consumer Your Cocktails, subscribe to our channel, submit your cocktails. You'll find the link below. But as always, drink responsibly.